Right now, a new state law widens the criteria for issuing an Amber Alert. How this will help authorities and the public find missing kids. Plus, Governor Tony Evers vetoes legislation to fight PFAS contamination. Find out why and hear reaction from a GOP state senator. Well, we do have clear skies. Temperature starting out in the 40s this morning. Going to be another nice, mild afternoon before some rain moves in. We'll talk about it coming up. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Shane Hogan. And I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for tuning in. Feeling really nice out there this time of year. Beautiful. Feels like spring has sprung. Huh? Get those windows open. Get some fresh air. That's what Good I'm talking for you. about. <laughs> uh, Kelly Slipka, it seems like things have really greened up here in the past couple of days. Yeah, you think about all the uh, rain well, and the uh, snow that we had uh, over the last couple of weeks, all that moisture really starting to green things up. And uh, with the uh, sunshine, the mild temperatures, that'll continue to be the case. And we should see another nice mild day uh, today. We do have some uh, really complex system uh, down to our south producing rain right now in the Ohio Valley. Eventually that's going to lift to the north and bring us some rain, not until uh, tomorrow morning, then tomorrow afternoon. So enjoy the uh, upper 60s today. It will be a rainy Thursday for us, but it should clear out fairly quickly. We'll get back into some mild weather, beautiful weather setting up for the weekend. 48 Madison right now, Middleton 49, 49 in Wanakee, 48 currently in Sun Prairie and 48 in Fishbrook. So a couple degrees milder than where we were at this time yesterday. We will see uh, quite a bit of sunshine this morning. Some locations have been in the upper 30s, but most of us in the 40s. A little bit more cloud cover than yesterday. Streaming in during the afternoon hours. This will be mainly some mid and high level clouds, but maybe thick enough to uh, filter out the sun. But I still think we're going to get into the upper 60s, about 5, 6 degrees warmer than what we hit yesterday. Also, we are looking at dry weather today. That'll change tomorrow. It looks like tomorrow, tomorrow night, especially tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Looks to be kind of wet. Should be clearing out Friday morning, then some dry weather uh, going into the weekend. That looks a little bit unsettled going into uh, Tuesday of next week. Could be talking about some stronger storms by then. Meantime, 48 right now at the airport. The winds are out of the south. That'll push those temperatures in the 50s pretty quickly this morning. Already in the low 60s by noon. Talk more about this rain coming our way tomorrow. Coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. This morning, Fitchburg police are searching for a man who they say assaulted and robbed a woman. It happened shortly after noon yesterday in the parking lot of a shopping center on Caddis Bend. The victim says that a man approached her from behind, punching her as she was taking her child out of the car. She fell. Police say the man took off with her purse. She ended up suffering some minor injuries. Now, the victim says the robber is a white man in his 20s, about 5'6", 160 pounds. He was wearing a black long sleeve shirt, dark pants, and a black hat. Anyone with information that can lead to his identification and arrest is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 608-266-6014. We now know the names of four of the five people who died Sunday in a crash in the town of West Point. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office says a car crossed the center line and collided head on with a pickup truck. It happened at this bend you see here. The driver of the pickup truck, 70 year old Robin Purcell of Prairie du Sac, died at the scene. The car driver, a 17 year old Mary Mac girl, also died at the scene. The car passengers died as well. They include 42 year old Shane Scoville of Merrimack, 62 year old Julie Scoville of Blue Mounds, and 26 year old Kaiser Ballwag of Sauk City. Ballwag survived initially but was taken to a hospital where he later died. The investigation into this crash is still ongoing. For updates on this and other local stories, make sure you download our free Channel 3000 mobile app. 603 now. Governor Tony Evers has signed a bill expanding the state's Amber Alert system. This bipartisan Prince Act increases Wisconsin's criteria for issuing alerts for children reported missing. The bill was named after Prince McCree, a five-year-old boy from Milwaukee who went missing last October and was later found dead. Now alerts can be issued if the child cannot make it home due to cognitive or physical issues. Governor Evers says the Prince Act will ensure Amber Alerts reach the public faster. The idea of having your child go missing is something that no parent wants to imagine or God forbid experience. The bill signing comes as authorities in Wisconsin continue searching for three-year-old Elijah Vu of Two Rivers. An Amber Alert was issued for Vu after he disappeared on February 20th. He still has yet to be found. Governor Tony Evers and Republican state legislators, meantime, are in another standoff over fighting pollution from PFAS or forever chemicals. This continues as Evers has vetoed a Republican-backed bill that would have created grants to address the matter. 
At the same time, he also called the Joint Finance Committee for a special meeting next Tuesday to approve $125 million in treatment efforts. The full legislature has already budgeted the funds for PFAS mitigation, but the committee still has to sign off on spending that money. Ever said in his veto message he objected to the bill because it limits the DNR's authority to hold polluters liable. We, we spent a lot of times with uh, uh, various legislators talking about how stupid I am, and I'm trying to convince them of what I just mentioned. So we, ha we have to do something. We have, we, we have to get the money out the door. The money is already there, so we're going to be working on that. The two sides are at a sticking point over how to handle landowners that have pre-existing contamination on their land. GOP lawmakers are weighing in on the latest developments. State Senator Eric Wimberger released a statement saying in part, quote, instead of listening to the communities impacted by PFAS, Governor Evers tries to hide his shameful veto of comprehensive PFAS relief behind yet another call to turn millions set aside to help PFAS victims into a DNR slush fund. He goes on to say, quote, while Governor Evers claims to care about clean water in Wisconsin, this veto shows that he cares more about maintaining the power of bureaucrats. And brand new this morning, in the last couple of hours, the Biden administration has launched and announced it is launching new federal drinking water standards that it says are legally enforceable. They're allocating a billion dollars to help states and territories fund PFAS detection and treatment systems. This funding comes from the bipartisan infrastructure law. The FAA is investigating new safety allegations involving Boeing Dreamliners. Those are different from three other Boeing models that suffered mid-air incidents this year. A whistleblower alleges that some Dreamliners could have manufacturing flaws. He says they could prove catastrophic, as Amy Kiley reports. I am hopeful that the FAA will not allow this to go unanswered. A Boeing whistleblower is speaking out after the FAA announced a probe into some of the company's wide-body planes yesterday. Boeing engineer Sam Salapur alleges 777 jets could have damaged parts. I literally saw people jumping on the pieces of the airplane to get them to align. He also says 787s could have improperly closed gaps in their bodies. He says airlines might not know to check for related hazards. Salapur's attorney alleges he faced retaliation from Boeing before filing a complaint with the FAA in January. He was threatened with physical violence. He was threatened with termination. Boeing disputes the 787 allegations. It says it worked with the FAA to ensure the issues don't cause safety concerns. The whistleblower allegations come as Boeing is reeling from recent mid-flight scares. They include a 737-800 engine cover falling off Sunday, a 757-200 suffering wing damage in February, and a 737 MAX 9 losing a door plug in January. I'm doing this not because I want Boeing to fail, but because I want, I want it to succeed and prevent the uh, crashes from happening. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. A uh, Senate subcommittee is holding a hearing about the concerns with Boeing next week. The company has yet to comment on the whistleblower allegations about its 777 jets. Two weeks after the deadly collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, city officials are hoping to speed up aid to that region. Maryland Governor Wes Moore, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, and leaders from the state's congressional delegation met with lawmakers on Capitol Hill. They're calling for support from Washington for an aid and recovery package. President Biden, who surveyed the devastation last week, has promised that the federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing the key bridge. The meeting today was very emblematic of the kind of support that the state of Maryland has had from the very beginning because about two weeks ago, a part of our soul fell into the Patapsco River, a part of our landscape, and a part of what makes Baltimore, Maryland so special. Six construction workers who were working on the bridge when it was struck by the cargo ship have died. Crews continue the massive salvage effort to clear the wreckage and fully reopen the port of Baltimore with many businesses impacted by its closure. All right, we got some nice weather on the way again today, even a little bit warmer, but some rain in the forecast tomorrow. We'll have the first warm forecast just ahead.
Coming up, we'll uh, see how the Bucks fared as they're on a bit of a skid as the end of the season draws closer. And an update on that big injury last night. Giannis falling to the floor in the third quarter. What's going on with his leg injury? Coming up in your morning sports. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Dear Unbreakable Spirit, when the terrain is gnarly, you steady us. When obstacles are ahead, you lift us. When the turf is hostile, you inspire us. Own a legend. Toyota Trucks. Get a new 2024 Tundra Hybrid Capstone for 3.99% APR for 60 months, plus $2,500 cash back. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, you get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. You can save fresh for everyone. Hansen's knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. That's why our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed. With over 30 years' experience and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 50% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. Call 1-800-HANSEN'S. Get it done. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Well, if you're headed to Target anytime soon, expect to see some changes at the checkout. Well, I was just there yesterday, but take a look at this. The popular big box retail store is introducing some new technology to combat theft at its self-checkout registers. The technology is called Trust Scan. The cameras will be able to detect items on scanners and anything unscanned. Shoppers will get audio and visual cues when they don't scan items properly. TrustCan will also help Target track those who repeatedly fail to scan their items even after being prompted. The new technology will be rolled out into its stores this year. Okay. All right, good to know for all you potential thieves out there. <laughs> <laughs> They're on to you. <laughs> they are. Hey, well, now that the eclipse is over, you may be wondering what to do with your glasses that you went out and got. Uh, a number of organizations out there recycle or reuse them. Astronomers Without Borders has been accepting donations of eclipse glasses for 15 years. They partner up with organizations where you can drop off or mail your used glasses, including retailers like Warby Parker. You could also send them to Eclipse Glasses USA, which repurposes used glasses for future events, or you could just Hang on to them until the next major eclipse. Yeah. 
No big deal. Yeah. Slip them in your they junk don't, drawer. They don't take up much room. Oh, no, they'll be around. All right, 614. Kelly's on the patio. How's it feeling out there? Not bad. You know, speaking of the uh, uh, path of totality eclipse over Madison, our next one is 2099, so quite a ways off for us to see that. Uh, uh, we do have some really nice weather. At least we have uh, had some sunshine yesterday, beautiful day yesterday. And we've got more sunshine in our forecast today, but that's going to change tomorrow. So enjoy today. We've had several uh, days of really nice weather. That's going to change tomorrow because we have this storm system right now over Texas. Really been pounding the Lone Star State, parts of the lower Mississippi Valley. They actually have a moderate risk of severe weather in the lower Mississippi Valley where they will likely see some tornadoes develop. Now, this is the system that's going to track right along that cold front and bring us some wet weather, just some rain. We're not expecting any severe weather on it. We'll be on the stable northern side of the storm system. But it is that time of the year when we can see uh, some severe weather, uh, just not with this system. It looks like it's just going to be bringing rain. This is severe weather awareness week so just kind of a refresher on what's the difference between a watch and a warning the first step the weather service usually issues a uh, a watch either a tornado watch a severe thunderstorm watch well in advance of the uh, potential of seeing uh, severe weather develop so that's the initial phase of the uh, watch warning system then as we get closer to the event we start to see these storms fire up we may be producing a severe thunderstorm or a radar indicated severe thunderstorm. That's when they prompt a warning. Those are usually a very small area. Uh, but if you are under one of those warnings, that's the time you want to take the cautious, uh, seek a safe area and, and take shelter when a warning is issued in your location. Nothing like that this morning. Our uh, sky cam from Platteville looks beautiful. Queen Bee Radio. We are look looking at a really nice day today. Temperatures in the upper 60s. Tomorrow we do have that rain moving in. It will be cooler, but then we're going to rebound nicely. In fact, we could be in the uh, 70s by Sunday. Temperatures today, though, in the upper 60s. Another nice day. The winds will be generally out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll look at filtered sunshine. Quite a bit of sunshine this morning, a little bit more cloud cover as we go into the afternoon hours. These will be these mid and high level clouds that will fill throughout the sun a little bit, but still fairly bright as we get into the upper 60s today. But we do have the system coming in from the south that will bring us some rain and some cooler weather. It's not going to be long lived though. Right into Saturday, we're going to get back in that southerly flow. The uh, jet stream way up to our north, allowing that mild air to come in from the south and we'll be well into the uh, 70s by the end of the weekend. 60s uh, next week before cooling down by Friday and Saturday. All right, here's that rain coming in uh, Thursday. We are looking at some rain to be spreading through the area. That will continue into Thursday night before tapering off by Friday. And we're looking at quieter weather by then. As far as rainfall amounts, quarter to a half inch, a little bit more to the south and east. Right now we're at 48 in Madison, 39 in Janesville. It's cooler along the Wisconsin River Valley, 35 right now in Lone Rock. 67 today with the rain settling in tomorrow, but that's it. Should be nice Friday. Warming up into the upper 60s Saturday, mid 70s expected by Sunday. Braden Locke got his first taste of what it takes to be a starting quarterback in the Big Ten last year when he started three games for the Badgers. Wisconsin went one and three during that stretch, but there were flashes of greatness. And that experience last year has Locke dialed in on being the guy this season and winning the job as UW's starting quarterback. But right now in the spring, for him, it's all about stacking good days on good days. I wouldn't say that my mentality is any different. I mean, I understand the role that I'm in. Um, but at the end of the day, anytime I'm on the field, whether it's ones, twos, threes, you know, you're being evaluated constantly and, you know, you want to perform at a high level and you want to do your job on every snap. It's always going to be hard no matter where you're at, no matter, you know, what you're trying to do. You know, if you want to be a quarterback, you know, a starting quarterback in big time college football, you know, you're going to have to go and take it. The men's basketball season officially ended Monday night with UConn winning their second straight national championship. So now... It's already on the next season, right? Well, ESPN wasted no time. They unveiled their way too early top 25, and the Badgers made the cut. Wisconsin enters the poll at number 24 in the country. Might be a bit of a shock with all the moving pieces on Greg Gard's roster, but remember, it's early. And speaking of that roster, another Badger has entered the transfer portal. Isaac Lindsay announced he plans to play elsewhere next season. The former Mineral Point pointer played in 46 games during three seasons at Wisconsin, scoring 48 points. Lindsay is the sixth Badger to either enter the portal or declare for the NBA draft. Well, it's been that kind of couple of weeks for Doc Rivers and the Deer. Bucks hosting the Celtics, looking to snap a four-game losing streak. 
They came out firing, though. Giannis takes it to the cup for two. That puts the Bucks up 20. But scary moment in the third. Giannis goes down, grabbing his leg, and he wouldn't return to the game. The Bucks called it a calf strain. Rivers said after the game, the concern is high, but he's Giannis, so we're just going to hope for the best. The Bucks did end up winning the game. Brewers looking to even their series against the Reds. No score in the third. And Blake Perkins sends a little blooper into the outfield. That brings home two runners, part of a three RBI night for Perk. Brew Crew go on to get the win, nine to five, the final. And that's it for morning sports. Have a great day. Hey, well, here's a chance to see some current and former Packers. The tailgate tour has stopped scheduled for the viewing area. They stop at schools, hospitals, and other venues to meet with fans. Yeah, it's happening tonight from 6 to 7.30. They will be at the Eclipse Center in Beloit. There will be food, activities, and a Q&A session with some of those players. They visit Platteville tomorrow and Sun Prairie on Friday. You can find all the details up on the Packers website. Pretty cool opportunity. Yeah, I got a nice little uh, roster this year. Uh, Kenny Clark and Elton Jenkins, Rasheed Walker, as well as uh, a couple of alumni, including Brian Balaga. Whoa! From Iowa All and right. uh, Mike Daniels and uh, Alex Green. All so right. Check that out. Uh, yeah, a lot, some couple starters in there. Uh, I covered one of the first ones. They started this about 18 years ago. Cool. Uh, I covered it in Chippewa Falls. Uh, I got to meet with uh, Chad Clifton. I interviewed him and James Jones and John Kuhn back in the day. Wow. Uh, as, as a fan, it was. That's was, pretty cool. It was, it was pretty cool. All right, well, check it out. You can find the info on their website. Still ahead this morning, a home on the bay. We'll talk about it. And uh, ahead in our next half hour, uh, Frozen Foods Production Plant in Beaver Dam is closing down. Find out why and what's next for its hundreds of employees. And as we had to break this morning, we're taking a look at gas prices. We're back right after this. Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10, moving forward. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here and I work for Copas and Bus part time on the side. I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years, and the kids on it are great. Flexible hours, they work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your road. Colson treats you decent, you know, all the years I worked here. It's a great place to work. At Sarginians, we're flipping the floor buying experience. For nearly a century, we've been at the forefront of flooring trends. And now, we're stepping into a new era where technology meets style and decision making is effortless. Experience the future of flooring at Sarginians today. I'm Megan Tim, Director of Community Health at SSM Health. You may know us as healthcare providers, but we live here too. And as good neighbors, we know our community thrives when we take care of each other. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are sharing the keys to health. Watch for our expert information and advice on air, online, and at fun local events. Join SSM Health and News 3 Now, and together, we'll unlock a healthier community by taking time for kids. For generations, hardworking people have relied on Ford F-Series trucks, making them America's best-selling trucks 47 years straight. Introducing the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. This is the next generation of Built for Tough. See your Ford dealer today and celebrate leadership with special offers on Ford F-Series. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Hello, I'm Tommy Van S from the Tommy Van S Realty Group. For over a decade, thousands of people have turned to Tommy Van S Realty to buy or sell their home. Because we are more than your realtor, we're your partner. If you list with us and take advantage of our extensive marketing, everyone will know your home is for sale. The Tommy Van S Realty team is working hard for you. Call Tommy Van S today at 608-395-7375. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van S. 
save big at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanakee Furniture ETC. I want to thank Gwen for sharing her morning with us. Yeah, these uh, blue stars are everywhere right now. Love the bright, vivid colors. Really a sign that summer, spring, right here. It's right in our grasp. Yeah, things are uh, really brightening up out there. Thanks they for are. the picture, Gwen. It's lovely. If you want to do the same, just uh, snap a photo and use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media. All right, what are we talking about today? All right, let's check this out here. This is the San Francisco Bay. The camera here you're going to see is going to zoom in on this houseboat floating in the middle of the bay there. It's a two-story houseboat with skylights and a white picket fence around the home. Now, according to the San Francisco Standard, which is an online news website, the home was towed from its original dock because the state was forcing out a community of houseboats. So the owners decided to relocate in the middle of the bay and anchoring it to the ground. Yeah, where, where do you put a houseboat? I mean, if you can't be where you want it to be, move it out. The, I guess uh, out of protest, they're going out in the middle of the waters. Hey, hey I got to get nowhere else to go. Yeah, right. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just set it right here. There you go. Good places any, huh? New, uh, you know, there you go. It's beautiful. Enjoy the water and... Yeah. It's a nice house. Serenity. It's a nice house. You don't have to worry how, about your neighbors. How are you on, like, seasickness? Feeling that bob? Uh, I think I'd that would okay. get me. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that would get me. Okay. I think that would get me. But still, yeah. nonetheless, beautiful water. Don't see that every day. No. All right, let's uh, check in with Kelly Slifkin. Now he's got to look at the bus stop forecast. Yeah, another nice day. Temperatures in the upper 60s this afternoon. Enjoy it because we do have some rain on the way tomorrow. It's going to be breezy and cooler, but really nice weather for the weekend. 60s and 70s. All right. More news three now this morning, right after this. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel protected, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Save up to 23% when you bundle auto and home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. It's replacement window season. Do you have ugly, hard to open, drafty windows? Now is the best time to buy new champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get two free. Buy two champion windows, get, get two, two free? free? I guess that means if you buy four, you get, you get four, four free. free. Buy six, get, get six, six free. free. Buy ten, get, get ten, ten free. free. Hurry, champions buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. Great job, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. Check this out. The newest fantasy game from DraftKings. Just pick between two and six players and choose if they're going to have more or less of a stack. They compete against others for cash prizes. It's that simple. Okay, let's try it. Do you want more Kevin Hart or less Kevin Hart now? Nope. Don't answer that. Download the Pick 6 app today and score up to $200 back in Pick 6 credits if you don't win your first pick set. The crown is yours. What? Golden Cars is having a huge sale with tons of vehicles under $14,995 or $259 per month. 
Don't miss out on our huge sale with the best selection of SUVs and cars all at affordable prices. Go to GobinCars.com or come on in and check out our huge sale with tons of vehicles under $14,995 or $2,59 per month. Just ask for me, Crystal the Pistol Gobin. Go to Gobin Cars East or West. You gotta go to Gobin. GobinCars.com Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel protected, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Save up to 23% when you bundle auto and home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. A mother hit and robbed in front of her child. Where it happened and what the purse snatcher looks like. Plus, programming changes at WPR. How the format will be different. And we are waking up to some sunshine this morning. We're looking at another beautiful day before some rain moves in. We'll have more coming up. Hey, good Wednesday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. We made it to hump day. I hope you're all enjoying the weather out there. Got another beautiful day on tap. It's looking good. Also have some rain in the forecast, That's too. Right. Kelly is tracking it all for you. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, it looks like we do have a nice day today. We're kind of uh, in that stretch of uh, nice weather the last few days, uh, and so enjoy today. We do have uh, just some high, thin clouds that will stream across the uh, skies this afternoon. We are watching this mess down to our south widespread uh, showers from the Ohio Valley all the way into uh, parts of the northeast. That extends all the way down into the Gulf Coast states. That's the system that will eventually spread our way and bring us some rain, not until tomorrow morning. So enjoy, enjoy those uh, upper 60s that were forecast today because cooler weather and some rainy weather are expected to move in tomorrow, but it looks like it'll clear out just in time for the weekend. 60s and even 70s possible. Right now, 48 in Madison, 49 in Windsor, even a little warmer than where we were at uh, this time yesterday morning. 45 in Stoughton, it's 47 currently in Cross Plains. So, uh, sunshine this morning, a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on. These will be mid and high level clouds, but it might be enough to filter out that sun a little bit. Still expecting upper 60s later today with a southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, we do have that rain chance coming our way mainly tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. That'll be the best opportunity. That looks generally dry going into the weekend. Another opportunity for some showers and maybe even some thunderstorms. Haven't had to talk a whole lot about that yet, but headed off to the bus stop this morning. We're looking at temperatures in the 40s, should be in the 60s uh, by the noon hour, upper 60s later today. More on that rain potential tomorrow coming up in about 15 minutes. Okay, Kelly, thank you. This morning, police in Fitchburg are asking for your help. They're looking for a man they say punched and robbed a woman in front of her child. This happened shortly after noon on Tuesday. It was in the parking lot of a shopping center on Caddis Bend. The victim says a man approached her from behind and punched her and she, while she was taking her kid out of her car. The blow caused her to fall and the man ran off with her purse. She does have some injuries, but nothing too serious. Police are looking for a white man in his 20s. He's about 5 feet 6 inches tall, 160 pounds. At the time of the assault, he was wearing a black long sleeve shirt, dark pants, and a black hat. If you have any information that could help identify or arrest this man, you should call Crime Stoppers. That number is on your screen. It is 608-266-6014. You can also submit a tip at p3tips.com. News 3 Now will continue to follow updates in this case and all other local stories. You can stay informed by downloading the free Channel 3000 mobile app. 250 people working for the Conagra Brands Beaver Dam facility will be out of work soon. The company announced it will close its bird's eye facility by the end of summer. The frozen foods production plant called Beaver Dam home for a half a century. Conagra says it's downsizing because it can meet the needs of its business with fewer facilities. The company says the decision is not a reflection of the overall performance of our Beaver Dam plant. We are committed to treating our employees respectfully and fairly throughout the transition. Now, the company says it will offer severance benefits to employees. Still, the executive director of the city's Chamber of Commerce says the news comes as a shock. And Beaver Dam's mayor, Mike Whistle, says that he's more than confident that new jobs coming in will outweigh the loss. The Wisconsin Justice Department is suing a Madison business for unlawful labor practices. The DOJ is bringing a civil suit on behalf of the state's Department of Workforce Development. They accuse Jeremy Kruk of the former custom apparel business Crushing It Promotions of firing employees for unionizing. Kruk's also accused of refusing to pay those workers and shutting down his business and reopening it under a different name. The DOJ says Kruk owes the employees more than $8,000. 
On the case, Wisconsin's Attorney General Josh Call said, quote, this case alleges that the defendant engaged in unacceptable business practices. We will work to ensure that the impacted employees receive what they're owed. Starting this summer, UW-Madison employees will be able to take six weeks of paid parental leave. It's a new policy from the university. Previously, employees had to use vacation, sick days, or unpaid leave when becoming a parent. One UW employee and mental health expert says the new policy will better the overall mental health of employees. I think it's really hard to focus on work and really be present with your baby. So having that six weeks that's paid and you have that financial um, stability is, I think, a game changer for people and just their job satisfaction and overall well-being. The university says campus leaders will discuss the policy with stakeholders now over the next few weeks. UW will then use the feedback back to provide more information on the policy and clear up any confusion before it takes effect in July. Time is 634. Starting in May, uh, May 20th, listeners of the Wisconsin Public Radio will either be tuning in to WPR News or WPR Music. Our Armand Rahman sat down with the director there to find out why and how it'll change what you hear and when. Wisconsin Public Radio will be changing how it's offering its news and music program starting in mid-May because they say they listen to audience members and found people are listening to the radio a little differently now. Like drive time, that there would be, you know, morning commuter listening and afternoon commuter listening. And during COVID, that all went away. Sarah Ashworth, WPR's director of radio, says they heard that in survey responses from about 6,000 people over the past two years, who also indicated more people are ditching the dial for digital. Fewer and fewer people own radios. It's harder to buy one. And you find that more people are listening on their phones or they're pulling up the stream. That's why in about a month you may be hearing. This is all things considered here on Wisconsin Public Radio. At some different times of day, they'll launch a new 9 a.m. daily news talk show called Wisconsin Today and a longer Larry Mueller show on WPR News. So the team that works on the new Wisconsin Today show will also invest heavily in producing digital stories. And WPR Music will offer more classical music with a new afternoon classical host. You'll be able to listen to classical music that comes out of Wisconsin studios, reflects life in Wisconsin. Their show, The Idea Network, will be retired and the staff moved into WPR News. We are not planning any um, cuts or reduction in hours because of the schedule changes. Ashworth says this is not due to financial concerns. They're actually in a good position money-wise. But we don't take that for granted, you know, and recognizing that we need to step up and make sure that we continue to really serve Wisconsin in order to keep that. WPR will be hosting information sessions throughout the state in the weeks leading up to the change. The one in Madison is on April 25th and you can register online. It's totally free. Reporting in Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Here's that information for anyone looking to ask questions about those upcoming changes. It's at the Central Public Library on Thursday, April 25th at 7 p.m. It should last about an hour. Again, it is free to attend, but you should register ahead. You can find the link to do that at WPR.org slash new. 637 to some more local news now. Young aspiring entrepreneurs will get the chance to sell their products at a youth business fair this weekend. One of the rules, though, is that the kids are responsible for everything. For me, the best part is just learning how to be an entrepreneur, having my own business, my own responsibilities, paying my own bills, <laughs> stuff like that. Here at Axton Academy, we believe children are much more capable than we adults often imagine. Um, and the business fair is one of the ways that they can really kind of showcase and practice their entrepreneurial skills. So yeah, this is all on the kids here. Responsibilities include funding their own business. Participating children can take out loans from their parents that they then have to pay back after the fair. If you're interested, the fair is Saturday from 10 to 1 at Westminster Presbyterian Church on Nakoma Road. If your child's looking to participate, there's still time to sign up. Just head to childrenbusinessfair.org to do so. Sounds like little Corinne there is going to be owning a business someday. It sounds like uh, the parents at home are going to be forking out a little cash <laughs> to make it happen. Too. Love it. Very cool. <laughs> All right, coming up after the break, where Habitat for Humanity is building a massive new development and how many houses and families it will house. And we have another nice mild day with some sunshine. Temperatures headed well into the 60s today. That's out ahead of a system that will bring us some rain. We'll have more on the first warm forecast coming up. 
Who isn't ready for spring? And up to 50% off list. Big deals are everywhere at Slumberland Furniture. Like this trending comfy sectional for just $15.95. Or update your living room for just $4.75. At our big spring home sale now at Slumberland. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. No question, I want to spend these months at home with hospice care from A Grace so I can be with my dog and my grandkids and their laughter. A Grace, caring every step of the way. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. I think when people come into the gym, they're often coming sometimes to change a certain aspect of themselves, to feel good enough, skinny enough, muscular enough, whatever enough. But you are enough. You are worthy of showing up for yourself. And it, it does start from a place of self-love. And having the people here in the community makes it so much easier. Again, it takes courage to even tell yourself that you're worthy and then to walk through these doors. So join me, be courageous. Make those daily decisions for a better tomorrow. Start with courage. Let's go. When you need new flooring, you'll want quality materials, some design advice, and the best installers you can find. At H&R Carpets and Flooring, we deliver floors that look beautiful too. On sale now at H&R Carpets and Flooring, want a key. Who isn't ready for spring? And up to 50% off list. Big deals are everywhere at Slumberland Furniture. Spring into a comfy Lazy Boy recliner for just $3.98. Plus, pay no interest for three years at our big spring home sale now at Slumberland. Thursday at 10. He spent a lifetime doing something good. And how old are you? 99 plus. <sighs> so you'd better believe he has stories to tell. This should be fun. I'll tag along with this amazing local veteran and retired surgeon. How's everybody today? Okay? As he reveals special memories, priceless life lessons, and what we can all do to make his greatest wish come true. Do something good Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Hey, we're back. We are starting with some good news happening here in Dane County. That's right. Habitat for Humanity volunteers are building a 1.3 acre development right here in the Madison area. The development will house eight different families. Volunteers are currently working at the April Air Innovation Center in Sun Prairie. That's where they're building all of the interior and exterior walls for one of the homes. Handing over the keys to a homeowner is uh, it's a it's a beautiful moment. It's it's very emotional, something that it truly makes you tear up because it's a dream. I think many Americans home ownership is a dream and we're making it possible for families that really wouldn't otherwise be able to do this perhaps ever in their lifetime. So it's a beautiful thing. The home those volunteers are working on right now will eventually end up in Oregon. Love to see that. Hey, speaking of housing, Governor Tony Evers says a new loan program will expand access to safe and affordable housing for Wisconsinites. The program will cover 20% of the cost to build senior and workforce housing, typically paid for by developers at an interest rate of 3%. That interest rate falls into uh, falls to 1% for municipalities that have populations less than 10,000 people or the housing is for seniors. All of this made possible by a bipartisan housing legislation package. Making the announcement yesterday, Governor Evers said in part, we know access to quality affordable housing is often a barrier that folks joining our workforce and communities across our state. Expanding affordable workforce and senior housing is critical to addressing our state's workforce challenges and building an economy and workforce that can meet the needs of the 21st century.
All right, 6.43 on a Wednesday. Kelly Slifka is outside with your first warm weather. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. Another nice uh, start to our morning, and uh, we are looking at quite a bit of sunshine already. Just a few high, thin cirrus clouds, and temperatures will be responding nicely now that the uh, sun is coming up on the horizon. And we do see quite a bit of sunshine. You can see our sky cam from the Edgewater Hotel. Quite a bit of blue out there, and it's going to be another mild day. As temperatures get up to 67. The average now is 55. The sun does not set until 735. All right, uh, we did get a beautiful sunset. Uh, this was taken from uh, Lake Wingra last week. Thanks, Randy, for sending that in. Probably opportunity to see some nice photos come in today with the uh, sunshine we're expecting. And it's going to remain mild. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit cooler than today because we do have some rain on the way. Kind of a rainy Thursday afternoon, Thursday night before we dry out Friday. Just a beautiful weekend setting up. 60s and potential of getting into the 70s by Sunday. All right, we have to deal with tomorrow, though. We've got this rainy situation coming up uh, tomorrow. Storm system coming in from the south. Now, this has got a lot of moisture coming in. And then also an upper-level system coming in from the northwest. They're going to converge right over the Badger State. So it looks like it'll be lighter rain coming in tomorrow morning. Uh, widespread rain headed across the entire state going into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And then everything uh, moves on to the east by Friday morning. We get back into some clearing. Now, as far as today goes... Enjoy the dry weather. Enjoy some of the sunshine, the mild temperatures as we head into the lower 60s here already at the uh, noon hour. Upper 60s today, a little bit more cloud cover as the afternoon wears on, but all in all, it should be a really nice Wednesday for us. That system, though, on Thursday does spread that rain in coming in from the south. The heavier rains are going to likely stay to the south and east towards Chicago, but all of us likely to see some wraparound moisture coming in Thursday night before tapering off by Friday morning. Then we'll get into some sunshine as we go into a Friday afternoon. So the chance of rain tomorrow ramping up later in the morning hours toward the afternoon hours, then into the evening hours before tapering off by Friday morning. As far as rainfall amounts, Heaviest amounts toward Milwaukee, maybe closer to an inch, quarter to a half inch from Madison down toward Janesville. Lesser amounts, a quarter, uh, less than a quarter of an inch for most locations out to the west. Right now, 48 in Madison, 39 in Janesville, 48 in the Dells, 35 in Lone Rock and across Dane County. It's 37 in Sauk City and Wanakee, 41 in Oregon, and 37 in Verona. But with the sun, we well, should be warming up quickly now. 67 today, 56 tomorrow with some scattered showers. A cooler day, 58 on Friday before warming up this week and beautiful weather. Kind of after active next week with rounds of storms expected by Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. Well, when an April snowstorm or a February tornado hits Wisconsin, it can leave hundreds of thousands of us without power. For some, power outages mean temporary annoyance, but for others, it could mean going hungry. Our Maddie Heimsch has more. In March of 2024, Wisconsin's food share benefits were granted to almost 400,000 Wisconsin families. The program issuing a total of $113 million in monthly grocery allowances. So when you're waiting for that next monthly allowance to come, what do you do when your fridge loses power and your groceries go bad? Well, FoodShare has a replacement benefits program. In its current form, it's almost inaccessible. Imagine you just lost your power, but now you need to turn your computer and your printer on and print a document to get your food replaced. And then you have to find an envelope and a stamp and go out in the middle of a power outage. There's a snowstorm and you have to mail it and you have to wait. Sherry Tussler is the CEO of the Hunger Task Force. She works closely with food share recipients and says the application process for aid replacement needs to change. Our local utility company, they don't need a whole bunch of people calling in and saying, can you send me a letter proving that I had a power outage? which is currently what the state expects people to do. Food Chair has announced its plan to implement electronic replacement applications, setting a target date for October of 2024. But several other states already allow e-signatures, eliminating travel needs, phone holds, and technological difficulties, and providing millions of dollars worth of relief aid to those in need. Those people not only lost their power, but they're worried about where their food's at. That's just untenable. And um, those are the people who need our help the most. Reporting in Madison, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. 648 and some health news this morning. Research shows that many women are not getting the recommended screening for breast cancer. A new CDC report shows that one in four women aged 50 to 74 aren't up to date with their screening. The numbers are concerning as 40,000 women die every year from breast cancer. The report sheds light on why that might be. Reasons include the cost for access to care, lack of transportation, food insecurity, loss of work, 
and feeling socially isolated. The more of those health-related social uh, needs a woman has, the less likely she is to get a mammogram. It's really important to address these needs now. When doctors are meeting with a patient, they can screen women for these needs and then connect them to community services. And if women are uninsured, CDC has a program in all 50 states through the health departments that will allow women to get a mammogram for free. So consider this, 22% of breast cancer deaths can be reduced by early screening and treatment. If you need a screening but are concerned about the cost, here's what you can do. Wisconsin's Well Woman Program offers free breast cancer screenings for women with limited income or little to no health insurance. For more information, head to the CDC's or Public Health of Madison Dane County's websites. There you'll find out if you qualify for free services and how to sign up. Coming up, a new national rule for drinking water that officials say will help save lives. All the day's top headlines are coming up in the morning sprint. But first, we want to wish a happy birthday to Elliot. Happy third birthday. We're back after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. Spring is sprung and savings are in full bloom. Visit Menards Garden Center for everything you need to get your garden growing. Choose from hundreds of beautiful, colorful flowers, lush trees and shrubs, and everything in between. Menards Garden Center is back in bloom. Stop in today to get your garden on. Check out these fresh deals happening now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. talking about cash backing. Not a game. Not a game. We're talking about cash backing. We're talking about cash backing. We're not talking about bragging? No. We're talking about cash backing. We're talking about cash backing. Mm. We're talking about cash backing. Not a game. We've been talking about practice for too long. Word. No practice. we talking about cash backing. We're talking about cash back. I mean, we're not talking about a game. Cash back like a pro with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. What's your lawn care plan for the summer? Having a Maple Leaf Lawn Care Maintenance Program means a better looking lawn and more free time for you. Check our website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. Magic Box, tonight at 7. 6.53, time for the morning spray. We've been following breaking news this morning. The Biden administration is imposing the first ever national drinking water regulation on PFAS. Under the new rule, public water utilities will have to reduce forever chemicals to the lowest levels they can be reliably measured at. 
Officials say this will reduce exposure for 100 million people and help prevent thousands of illnesses, including cancers. In Fitchburg, police are looking for a man they say assaulted and robbed a woman. It happened yesterday around noon in a shopping center parking lot on Caddis Bend. The man wearing uh, black, he is described as a white man, 5'6", about 160 pounds. If you have any information that can help authorities, Call Crime Stoppers. We have new information now on the status of Buck star Giannis Antetokounmpo. ESPN is reporting good news this morning, saying his Achilles tendon is fully intact after receiving an MRI, and his return to play now depends on how that left calf strain heals. This after Giannis went down last night without any contact against the Boston Celtics. The FAA is investigating another Boeing plane model. The agency says it's now investigating the 787 Dreamliner. It comes after a whistleblower came forward in January. That whistleblower says the company took shortcuts when building the jets. Those risks could be catastrophic. Boeing, meantime, says the claims are inaccurate. In Arizona, a 123-year-old law uh, banning nearly all abortions is in effect. The state Supreme Court only allowing the procedure if it's to save a pregnant person's life. The state's attorney general is looking to pursue options to make sure the law is not implemented. The House is expected to send impeachment articles against the Homeland Security Secretary to the Senate next week. GOP leaders want to do that, wanted to do that this week. The Senate Republicans say they need some more time to develop a strategy. The Democratic-controlled Senate is not expected to convict. New body cam video shows the moments leading up to a deadly Chicago police shooting last month. It begins with an officer approaching the car of Dexter Reed. The officer asks Reed to unlock his door, to which Reed apparently says, I'm trying to. That's when the gunfire breaks out. The Civilian Office for Police Accountability says police fired 96 shots during 41 seconds. A new survey shows members of Gen Z are less happy than other generations. People aged 12 to 26 say that they are having a harder time than previous generations did at their age. Of the 2000 Gen Z Americans surveyed, three-fourths say they're somewhat happy. That number goes down as kids and teens reach adulthood. All right, five minutes away from uh, 7 o'clock, a nice start to the uh, morning. Temperatures will be warming through the upper 40s and low 50s. Should be already in the low 60s here at the uh, noon hour. Just some high thin clouds filtering out the sun. They'll thicken up a little bit more as we get toward the late afternoon, but that will not prevent us from getting into the upper 60s, so even a little bit warmer than yesterday. A lot of sunshine early this morning, a little bit more cloud cover later today, but still getting into the upper 60s. A little bit more cloud cover tonight will eventually lead to some rain. Enjoy the, enjoy the dry weather today, the mild weather, because it will turn a little bit cooler, breezy. Temperatures in the 50s tomorrow, but we do clear up by Friday. Beautiful weekend headed our way. Get out and enjoy upper 60s and even mid 70s by Sunday. Perfect time for the uh, farmer's market to return oh, this right. weekend. Yeah, 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 it should be nice to get out and enjoy. Thanks for tuning in, folks. We're back with another news and weather update in 30 minutes.